Hi guys, in this video I want to cover my rust technique. Now it's a pretty simple method to pick up on, um, but you will need to have a brush that's been uh, ruined, Some, pre preferably uh, one where the bristles are poking out all, all different directions. Um, so if you've been painting for any length of time, um, that should be something you can lay your hands on. Now to start off with over a black undercoat, I've uh, just painted it scrag brown. Um, now it, it doesn't matter, you can see uh, here that it's not, uh, it's not a fantastic coat. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this stage, you're not looking for uh, total coverage. So once that's done and dry, what you're going to need is a Troll Sire Orange. So once you've got your ruined brush and uh, the Troll Slayer Orange, the only other thing you're going to need is a bit of kitchen towel. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just pick up a little bit of the paint and we're going to dab some of the paint away on this kitchen towel. Uh, and this is why you need a ruined brush with bristles poking all over the place is because all we're going to do is stipple away. Just refocus the camera. So yeah, we're just stippling away, being as messy as we can, can be. Uh, now again, like a few of these techniques, you will need to plan how you're painting your model um, because there's there's no neat way of doing this. So um, obviously be mindful of um, other areas that you might not want to get rusty. It's up to you how much, um, how far you go with this and how speckled it gets. It doesn't really matter. It's quite a forgiving process, really. So there we go. Um, quite stippled. Uh, once the shine, uh, the wet paint shine is gone, you'll be able to see that a little clearer. Uh, so yeah, that's really the first stage done. Now for the next stage, we're going to need a slightly lighter orange uh, than the one we used before. Uh, again, it doesn't really matter what shade you're using. Um, I've got this edge paint um, to hand. Um, so again, much like we've done in the last step, we're going to stipple away uh, some of this paint. Now at this stage, because it's a much lighter shade of orange, I don't really want a lot of paint on the brush at all. Um, and we're going to go back to uh, stippling. Um, so try and space these ones out a little bit. Um, you don't want it too clumped because then it just will turn that light orange. But yeah, we're just going to stipple away. Make sure there's an even, an even layer there, really even coverage. Um, so yeah, uh, looks like a complete mess at the moment, but it all comes together in the end. So for the next stage, we're going to do a bit of dry brushing, and I'm going to use a dark silver, in this case, a lead belcher. Um, now. For those not familiar with dry brushing, um, much like the stippling we've done, we're going to wipe away most of the paint on a kitchen towel. Um, and again, this you could use your stippling brush. Um, this is a, another brush that is fairly ruined. Um, the bristles are slightly softer, uh, which work for dry brushing, uh, whereas the stippling brush, the bristles have gone quite hard. But effectively, once once you've got away, got rid of most of the paint on the uh, brush, we're going to go backwards and forwards very quickly over the uh, the piece we've just done. Uh, now what this is doing, if the camera can pick up on it, is all of the extreme edges are being picked out in this darker silver. Um, like with any sort of rusty part, um, normally the corners, uh, the rust has been worn off uh, back to sort of bare metal. Um, so this is emulating that a little bit. 
very very quick stage there we go it's got a slight sheen to it now and you can see especially down by the the bottom here you can see how the the silver's picked up on all of these jagged edges here now this stage will dry really quickly especially in this uh this light i've got next to me so i can move over to the next phase which is washing this piece uh, again uh, my go-to wash for most things is agrax earth shade so once the uh, silver is dry we're going to go over with the brown wash so this flows into all the recesses um, and immediately starts um, shading the piece for you now um, when you are using washes uh, it's very easy to fall into the uh, fall into just using too much um, it will pull somewhere so if you if you do have too much on your brush um, as it dries it will all sink to the bottom and you'll get big clumps of uh, dark brown areas towards the bottom so um, do try and spread it out evenly um, if you think you've got too much on the brush um, wipe it back into the pot or if you think that oh, there's a little bit too much here just wipe some of it away um, so yeah uh, you obviously see it's starting to take shape now um, but it's still quite glossy because it's wet so once that wash of Agrax earth shade has dried the uh, the rust has started to look a lot more realistic than the bright oranges uh, and there really is only one more stage uh, and and even that's optional if, if you're if you're happy with how it looks at the moment then obviously by all means um, leave it how it is but typically what I do is one final dry brush with a lighter silver so in this case Rune Fang Steel so, so again we just need a small amount of uh, paint on the brush uh, now at this stage you could overdo it so I tend to just be quite quite gentle with dry brushing the the very edges so around the tops again with orcs bashing their stuff about um, the rust will be worn away in parts leaving the bare metal so this is all that's this is all, all that this is doing really. There we go. So that is my rust technique. Um, pretty simple, but I think it gets the job done. Um, it should get your uh, green skins battle ready in no time. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. Um, if you've got techniques you want to see me have a go at in the future, do let me know. But until next time, take it easy.